hours and 10 minutes remaining drive time. Well guys, I got a nail in my tire. Um, my back trailer tire. You can hear it. I think it's actually on the bottom now. But um, I was on Ohio Turnpike I-90 and I seen the light on my trailer. I'll try to show you real quick. Um, I seen the light saying that there was a tire issue. So as soon as I went through the tow plaza, I pulled to the side, checked my tires and heard it hissing kind of right away. But this is the light that comes on. guys so the guy is fixing my trailer tire um, I don't know if he's gonna replace it or just like do some type of patch on it um, but if it ever happens to you where you get a slow leak like obviously a tire blowout you have to pull to the side of the road and there's nothing you can really do but if you ever get like a slow leak or something like a nail or something punctures your tire um, and it's safe to do so you can of course stop and as soon as you find out about it um, message Rotasis let them know what's going on chances are they're gonna they always look up the closest repair place to you um, and they'll ask you, do you feel safe to roll to get to wherever the closest place is, if it's not too far, or do you need them to send somebody out to you? Um, for me, I was about 10 miles from this Loves that I'm sitting at right now. So I told them that I'll go ahead and roll, try to get to the Love safely. Of course, if anything extra happened or if I didn't feel safe, I would pull over again and just message them back and let them know that I couldn't make it the whole way. But because um, Prime has those tire inflation um, system on their tires, they um, like as you're rolling the air from your air brakes, the air, you know, the air that builds up in the airbags, it also works to keep your tire inflated. So although I could hear the air coming out and feel it when I put my hand up to it, um, it wasn't a super fast leak. I mean, it was fast enough but not so bad that as I'm rolling I just made sure that I went slow um, but as I was rolling the air that the truck was building up for the air brakes also kept the tire inflated so I did get here safe I didn't need them to send anybody out to the side of the road because of course being on the side of the road for you or for a tow truck guy is not the safest so if you're able to safely get somewhere to get it repaired where you're off the freeway off the side of a road um that's the better scenario you know so i was able to make it because i wasn't too far um i'm not sure how long it's gonna take but i can't imagine it'll take too long but after this i still need to get to my receivers so i will check back in with you guys later and i think i showed you guys the inflation system but I'll go and show you real quick it's kind of loud out there because my reefer's on but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about let me see um, 
and this is on the opposite side that has the issue but all the trailer tires have the same thing you see this hose and how it's hooked there and it also um, goes into the um, what do you call the little valve stem thing and so as you're rolling your truck is still creating air pressure and the air pressure helps to keep it inflated right down there yep right there it's right there where they don't want me to repair it okay so i'm gonna set your trailer down and we're gonna have to slide your tandem enough for me to get your spare tire out unless they want me to unless we can make up something cheap for them to buy any time well, i don't the, think they will but. yeah no if the spare is good i'll yeah. we'll go with the spare so should i slide the tandems all the way back i just turn out so we can get that to kind of clear that. Yeah. I'll just, I'll try to slide them back as far yeah, as I can. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I want to know that that's not repairable because it's right there. Okay. Let me move the jacket. Alrighty. And we'll just move your hand up and uh, try to move your hand up. So he's lowering it back. I'm going to slide my tandems to the rear. There is a spare tire under the trailer, so he's going to use it because um, he said the part where the nail is is not safe to repair. So he's going to have to replace the tire. Um, so. Uh, sidewall. Yeah, sidewall. I can't repair a sidewall. Man. Okay. So I'll go slide them now. Well, if you try to slide them back, we'll get them. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna slide my tandems back so he can grab. He needs, see how it's really close to the skirt? He needs space to grab the um, spare tire from under the trailer. It's like a rack under there that they keep. Not every trailer has it, but um, a lot of them do. So, scoot over, Stu. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I will check back in with y'all later. Bye. So guys, he's getting the tire out. But that's where they keep the spares, up under there. Yeah, but you can still hear. See, there's the nail. You hear it squeaking. And you can feel the air coming out as well. Well guys, he got the spare out and look at the spare. It's not good. So I'm not rolling with that tire either. So he's going in the office to call Prime and let them know that the spare that was under the trailer is not safe either. But see that rack where the chains are hanging right there? That's where it goes. So they're gonna have to get me a new tire for this trailer because that looks very bad. I mean, you can see the, yeah, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be going that far with that tire. That's definitely a DLT violation and unsafe to drive with. So the trailer will be getting a brand new tire. I don't know if they sell used tires here at Love's. I only see new ones up on the rack, but yeah. All right, guys, talk to you later. Y'all looking what these mosquitoes did to my leg. They messed me up. They had a buffet on my legs last night. I think while I was getting my tire changed. Hey guys, me and oh, that was a bug. Me and Stewie made it to Adrian, Michigan. I'm getting unloaded. That's my trailer right there. I can't be in the truck while they unload me. Some type of empty barrel, empty chemical barrels. So just sitting here, chilling. Shouldn't take them that long. 
after 26 barrels, he's already done two. But, um, just checking in with you guys. Hope everybody's having a good day. And... I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, 20 minutes later and I'm unloaded and headed to a truck stop. I don't know where I'm going next. Um, still waiting to get my next load assignment. So, we'll see. Hopefully, not anywhere too far away. I think I have like seven hours left on my clock. They made me chalk my wheels too, so I have to pull the chalk off. Make sure I can get out of here. But, um, yeah, anybody that's worried about my mosquito bites, they're doing much better. It's a few days after all the redness. They were so itchy. But I've learned to wear pants. So, scoot over, scoo -scoo. Scoochie, scoochie, little poochie. So, yeah, they're feeling better. And... I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. I went and got some bug spray. Haven't tried to use it yet. Hopefully I actually remember and don't think about it when it's too late and I'm already bit up. But at least I have some now. Well, I'll check in with you guys later once I know where I'm going and that'll probably be my last clip of this video. Peace. Well guys, my day is almost coming to an end. I just picked up my next load. I'm headed to Illinois. It's only like 320 miles from where I'm at. I'm in Ohio right now. Um, I picked up some paint. So it's another dry load, which is nice. I don't have to hear the reefer when I'm sleep tonight. It's due tomorrow at like noon. So that's where I'm headed. Hope everybody has a good night and I will talk to y'all later on the next video. Bye.